Hey kids, I'm Kristen. This is my starfish, and we're the Kristen Starfish Show. I got to spend the last 10 years in Australia studying the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah, I did it so long they even call me a doctor now. How cool is that? I got to go swimming all the time, got to see sharks, turtles, but my favorite is the octopus. So let's go check out some videos. Meet Ella the octopus. Now octopus are highly intelligent. They have huge brains, which means they can solve complex problems. Yeah, they can use tools to open jars and even escape out of their tanks, just like on Finding Dory. Now octopus are so cool. They can move around the reef with using their eight arms. They can jump from coral to coral just like Ella's doing now. Ella seems to have a fish friend. I've named her Fire. They hang out all the time along the reef. Oh, Ella's really scared there. That's what octopus do when they have that white flash. Now, you know what Ella likes to do? Her favorite game is she plays hide and seek on the reef almost all day. Yeah, she uses her special cells to change color and texture so she can blend in with the surroundings. This makes it excellent to stay away from predators. Now, octopus are often known for eight arms. Let's see, how many fish can you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight in the back. Did you find them all? Good counting. Okay, let's keep going on the reef. Now, octopus also have a special beak-like mouth that makes them eat all their dinner. And they have a sharp parrot-like tongue called a radula. That's a cool word. What color is Ella, the octopus? She looks like kind of my favorite color. Do you know what that is? Yep, purple! Now some species of octopus can be dangerous and venomous, so we have to stay away from it on the reef and keep a safe distance. Oh, what's on the bottom of Ella's tentacles? Yeah, they're called suction cups. What is the top of Ella's head called? Do you know what it is? Yeah, a mantle. And she has a siphon that comes out that can help push water through it if she needs to get away really fast by jet propulsion. I think one of the coolest things about Ella is that if she loses an arm, yeah, she can actually regenerate it. How cool is that? There's just some really cool things in nature and I think octopus mark them all. Thanks for taking a dive with me. I hope you liked seeing Ella. All right, let's head back and see what else Kristen and Starfish are up to. A, ah, angelfish. How cool was that, Starfish? I love looking at octopus. You just never know what they're gonna do. It's so cool how they can change different shapes as they move around the reef and they have special cells that can actually change form to make it look like they have different textures. How cool is that? Okay, what else should we do for fun today? Hmm, should we do our buoyancy check? What's this? Yeah, well we get to put things in water and if they're buoyant, they float. And if they're not buoyant, then they're gonna sink. So let's go sink or float. All right, thanks for joining me today on the buoyancy test. Yep, that's where we see if something sink or floats. Okay, what do we have up first? Yep, Lego diver. 
All right, she's got a pretty cool boat here. Ready? I don't know, what do you think? Think it's gonna sink or float? Oh, she's going under a bit. She floats. Okay, here we go. We've got the submarine. It's pretty heavy. And who's inside? Winnie the Pooh! All right, Pooh, ready to go for a swim? Surely if it's a submarine, it's gonna sink. Okay, let's see, ready? Oh. Well. Upside down, still floating. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if the diver can go for a swim, hey? All right, ready? Let's take a dive. Shh. No, still floats. All right, well today on Sink or Float, everything floats. Well, thanks for learning with me today on the Kristen Starfish Show. I sure hope you had fun. If you wanna see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. And thank you for letting me in your home. Now remember, in a world of angry sharks, let's all be a starfish. Take care.